Hello, I'm Robbie Fowler and you're watching Redman TV. Hello, I'm Chris Pajak for the Red Men TV and I am unfortunately here with a Reds news update that's rather bad news. Um, the lead headline on the mirror on the back page is they're mad for Sterling. Well, who is mad for Sterling? The one team in world football that will not be denied is mad for Raheem Sterling. Uh, Los Blancos, Real Madrid. I'll just let that sink in for a second there. Real Madrid are after Raheem Sterling. Apparently Ancelotti makes Cop Wonder Kid his number one Bernabeu target for next summer. The story's come about because Liverpool are being perceived as dilly-dallying over a contract offer for Raheem Sterling. He's on £30,000 a week. And he's got three years left of his contract. Now, to me, that's not dilly-dallying around. That is normal. Do you know what I mean? We only normally enter into contract negotiations with about two years left, unless the crap <coughs> and Johnson, in which case we just seem to let the contract run down. Um, but for Raheem Sterling, he is on significantly less than a lot of his England counterparts and a lot of players at the club. But he's 19 years old, and Rogers' philosophy is go out there, prove yourself... Do it for a sustained amount of time uh, and you'll get that big reward, you know what I mean? His idea is to keep the players hungry and keep Raheem Sterling hungry. And this is something that I think going back two years ago, we all had doubts about Raheem Sterling because he got that contract offer and what happened is form dipped and he, lo he lost his place in the Liverpool side. Since then, Rodgers has built him back up and it seems like Rodgers is the man to do that. Do you know, Raheem Sterling looks happy at Liverpool Football Club. He looks happy with Brendan Rodgers. He looks happy in his life outside of football as well. So I'm just hoping that we can turn down Raheem Madrid, but look, from Figo to Zidane to Beckham to James to Ronaldo to Bale and Modric, they normally do get their man. We've got to do all we can to get Raheem Sterling and join his football. And part of that is keeping Daniel Sturridge fit. Because let's be honest, Raheem Sterling hasn't looked great the last two games. And that's because Daniel Sturridge hasn't been in the side. And also, let's just hope that the Real Madrid scouts were at the last two games. Because then they might not think he's worth 70 or 80 million quid. Do you know what I mean? But Daniel Sturridge is key to Raheem Sterling. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and give the video a big thumbs up. No. Well, let's tell you. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> oh!